how to use MailChimp to collect email addresses. So go ahead and open your desktop browser and visit MailChimp website. So just a little background, MailChimp is an all-in-one marketing platform that helps you manage and talk to your clients, customers, and other interested parties. Here we have their plans. Highest on the list is their premium. Next is the standard and then the essentials plan. But don't worry, we'll be using the free version for this one. So tap on the sign up for free button, enter your credentials, just type in your email address, username, and your password, and then just hit on the sign up button, and you will then be directed in the MailChimp homepage. Now in order to collect email addresses using MailChimp, we have to create a landing page first. So this is how a landing page looks like. We just need to put these answer boxes where they will be typing in their emails. To create one, simply tap on this create button. And here we have the option to choose regular emails, automation, and landing page. What we need here is a landing page as I mentioned a while ago. So just click on that one. Now simply type in a name for it and then choose an audience and then hit on begin. So one great feature that MailChimp has is that they have a lot of templates that you can use so you won't be starting from scratch. All you have to do is to browse through the templates in here in order to find the best matching template for the landing page that you are seeing or that you want. So simply click on the page that you want. So I will be choosing this one. And once it's loaded, you will then be directed into another tab where you can edit the content of your landing page. So you can now tap on every element in the page in order to edit or remove it. So one of the very important elements that you need to edit is the title and the slogan. So simply hover on the title or the slogan, tap on edit icon which is this pencil tool, and then an advanced settings will appear on the right tab and right part of your screen. So here is the settings. The categories is the content, the style, and then more advanced settings. So to edit the text itself, tap on this text box, and you can then type in the slogan that you want. So if you are collecting emails, then type in a subtle instruction for them to enter the email addresses, or if they will be getting something by signing into your site, then type in enter your email and get something, something, whatever that specific item is. So up here, you can also change the text styles. You can adjust its alignment and you can attach a hyperlink to the text. Under the styles tab, you can change its font style. And the font style is also editable here. The font color and here are some settings that we already edited under the content tab already. So the font style and its alignment. Moving on, you can also edit these buttons. You can edit the text itself. You can input a link where the user will be directed to if ever they tap on that specific button. And then below here is for the advanced settings. Here, you can control if you want the button to direct the users to another tab and you can input the link as well. You can input the name and the CSS class of that tab. Now here, you can also change the background color, the background image, its size on the screen, and you can completely delete the image, the background image, if you want to. You can do all of the editing that you want all throughout the page. All the images, all the text, all the buttons are adjustable and editable here. Now, if there are elements that you want to put in your landing page, we have these options here. So you can add text, box text, dividers, some image and other image formats, share buttons, social media account linkings, buttons, and this is what we need to collect email addresses. Once we hold and drag it into our page, a title, a text box, and an enter button will be added. Moving on to the right part of the screen, you can access the manage available form fields in your page. 
So let's say you want to collect email addresses and their phone number and their first names. Simply tap on the checkbox beside the text and as you can see, it will immediately be reflected here on your screen. The box below is where they can input the information that you need. And then once you scroll down to the settings, we can now access the button part. First up is the text on the button. So you can change it to any text that you want. Let's say we want this to be done or enter. Then just type that in and it will reflect immediately on your button. Once you're done editing the landing page, simply tap on save and close. You will then be directed here. So what we need to do is to just check the details, the page title of course, and the page icon, and then followed by some other details. After checking the details, click on the publish button. All we have to do now is to check if the email collector landing page is working. To do that, click on the link provided here. Once you click on it, you will then be directed to this another tab and this is how your landing page looks like. Now, just to test, let's input an email address here on the sign up bar. Click on the enter button and then go back to the MailChimp tab. To see if the email address is added to your address or your collection, click on the audience tab. It's here on the left tab of your screen and under the drop down options, choose all audience. Under the Overview tab, you will see the total number of users subscribed to you, the total number of non-subscribed contacts, number of unsubscribed contacts, and the total number of cleaned contacts. So as you scroll down, you will also get access to audience performance, statistics, and graph of your audience growth. So the greater number of audience you have, the higher this graph will be. So this is just additional information from last campaign, campaign performance, and some additional information. Now, if we move to manage contacts tab, just click on it and then go to view contacts. Here, you will get a list view of contacts or email addresses that entered their inform. Here, you will get a list view of contacts or email addresses that entered in their information. As you can see, this is the email that we typed in a while ago. So it's now added here. And as long as people are adding their email addresses in your landing page, the information will be stored and collected here. So that is how to use MailChimp to collect email addresses. Do let us know if this video helped you out. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.